Would you believe me if I told you that Ghana, which is located in West Africa, has a lot of very, very wealthy people? As a massive producer of gold and the world's second largest producer of cocoa beans, this beautiful country excels in agribusiness, building, mining, and real estate development, and these are just some of the businesses that billionaires in Ghana invested in to obtain their massive wealth. Luxury Wire is here to tell you all about the billionaires of Ghana. Here at Luxury Wire, we get to reveal all things finance and money and everyone loves to hear a good financial success story. Welcome back to our channel and make sure that you are updated with our latest content by hitting that subscribe and bell button down below. Ghana's richest citizen is Ernesto Taricone. The estimated net worth of this well-known businessman is $1.3 billion. He previously came in second place behind Charles Umpofo in terms of wealth in Ghana, but this year it's all about Ernesto. Ernesto, a business investor in Ghana, was born in Italy in 1948. He emigrated to Ghana in 1968 along with his father and brothers. The Trasaco Group, which specializes in agribusiness, design, building, mining, and real estate development, is Ernesto Taricone's main source of wealth. A Trasaco subsidiary, Trasaco Estate Development Company has contributed over $500 million to current projects all around Ghana. Ernesto became the richest person in Ghana thanks to his investment in the Trasaco Group. Over 4,000 Ghanaians and foreigners are employed by the Trasaco business, which is also developing Ghana's first luxury apartments and high-end real estate projects. The Aurora Luxury Apartments in Accra are owned and developed by Trasaco. A mini town with 1,000 residences, a mini golf course with recreational amenities, and a commercial district are still being built in the Trasaco Valley. A $2.2 million house in the neighborhood is worth a look. It is 2,300 square meters in size and features two living rooms in addition to seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms. It features a sizable garden, an outdoor kitchen, and a pool, of course, to combat the heat. He's a very private person who keeps his spending habits a secret, but we do know he owns a $50,000 Range Rover and a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon coming in at $150,000. With two partners, Tarikone owns Micheletti & Co, which he bought in 2004. In Ghana, as of late, Micheletti & Co have been doing quite a lot of building. The Accra Hockey Stadium and the renovation of the Accra Sports Stadium are a couple of its famous undertakings. The development of the 61 apartments, dubbed the Beaufort Ridge Complex in Northridge, Accra, cost the company $10 million. A 2,130-acre plot of land in Tarakone has also been designated for tourism-related activities. Gulfwing Aviation Limited, which is situated at Kotoka International Airport, is also owned by Tarakone. This company uses both helicopters and private aircraft for air travel. This service has historically been utilized by high-ranking members of Ghanaian society and the government. The petroleum industry in Ghana also needs the assistance of this organization. Due to all of these developments and investments, his net worth has increased exponentially and as a result, Tarikone is now the richest person in Ghana. Sir Sam E. Jonah is one of Ghana's 10 wealthiest people. With a net worth of $1.2 billion, he is the second richest guy in the country. On the Cape Coast, Sir Sam E. Jonah was born in November of 1949. Jonah didn't get wealthy from his parents. He had a difficult life compared to many. He had to start working in the central Ghanaian Ashanti Goldfields deep mines when he was just 25 years old. He performed underground mining operations for the Ashanti Mining Company in exchange for an engineering scholarship at Exeter University. The wealthy businessman returned to Ashanti Mining after graduating. According to Forbes, Sammy Jonah was appointed Ashanti's CEO in 1986 at the ripe age of 36. Less than 11 years had passed since he began working underground for Ashanti Mining Company and his efforts had clearly paid off. Just take a look at this $9 million house. Ghana's eastern region is home to the 22-bedroom palace in Aubrey. On this property, there are spacious bedrooms, cutting-edge modern kitchens, conference spaces, a tennis court, a swimming pool, and a gym. These features are all present on this enormous property and it's ideal for corporate retreats because it has plenty of room. One of the best features of this property is its beautiful view over the township, which is provided by its hilltop location. The home also features a number of garages. Jonah claimed that despite being one of the wealthiest people in the nation, he finds it unpleasant to be judged on the basis of his wealth. 
Investments are made in mining, real estate, agriculture, construction, financial services, and oil and gas services by Jonah Capital Limited, a holding company and private equity firm owned by Sir Sam Jonah. He gained the most of his wealth via Jonah Capital, of which he held a 70% ownership. Through these investments, he rose to become one of Ghana's richest individuals. Sir Sam E. Jonah, the second richest person in Ghana, has made investments in numerous different African companies. He was once given the Companion of the Order of the Star of the Volta, Ghana's highest national honor, making him one of the wealthiest and most well-known men in the country. Nabil Edmund Mokarzel is currently another one of the top 10 wealthiest people in Ghana with a net worth of $900 million. I mean, just look at this fantastical palace he owns in Ghana. Property values in Ghana have been rising sharply, particularly in upscale neighborhoods like the Katanamans and East Ligon. In order to justify its asking price, it boasts a sizable swimming pool, a garden, and a tennis court on a one-acre area of land. This house has a large living area, a fully functional kitchen, and a dining area. It also has five bathrooms and modern interior decor. Both residential housing and five spaces in a garage are accessible for employees. The well-known businessmen are the owners of Finitrade, one of West Africa's leading food manufacturing and distribution businesses. Aquafoa, Damfo, Ghana Market Direct Limited, Continental Commodity Trading Company, and Supertrade, and these are just a few of the numerous subsidiaries of Finit Trade. The president of Ghana, Akufo Addo, one of the top 10 wealthiest men in Ghana, and even though he isn't the richest person we've discussed today, he knows how to travel in elegance. This Airbus ACJ320 Neo G Kelt was used by the president to travel to a summit in France. Acropolis Aviation is the owner of this amazing jet, which has enough for 17 passengers. One of the most luxurious airplanes in the world is the ACJ320. Private aircrafts usually tend to be small, however, some families need a little bit more space and a lot more luxury. A private jet like the ACJ320neo has some remarkable statistics, including the ability to carry up to 17 people and a support staff of up to 6, along with more than 100 pieces of luggage and a 12-hour flight time. The plane's floor is carpeted to the very ceiling. To the left of the main entry is a sizable galley and crew area, and to the right is a first restroom on the aircraft. A huge gold mixer tap is perched on a marble pedestal over a golden sink. The walls are paneled in dark wood veneer for an extravagant appearance which brilliantly contrasts the gold and brass finishes. All of the arm trays may be transformed into flatbeds giving visitors a lot of flexibility. Electric blinds are offered to block out light from the unobstructed windows when necessary and LED mood lighting is used to illuminate the ceilings rather than overhead bins to create the ideal ambience for any occasion. The master bathroom is located towards the back of the suite through a curved wood veneer door with a charming porthole window. There is a sizable basin, a toilet that doubles as a lounging space, and a shower that is comparable in size to an AA380. However, Ghanaians have questioned the president for selecting such an expensive aircraft when the nation already possesses a presidential plane. Some have also suggested that the president should not have requested a loan while operating such an expensive aircraft. Ibrahim Mahama ranks fourth among Ghana's richest people with an estimated net worth of $860 million. The affluent businessman is John Dramani Mahama's younger brother, a former president of Ghana. Some of Accra's most stunning homes, including this mansion, can be found in the exclusive gated community of Airport Hills where this $3 million palace is situated. This estate is the ideal residence for many wealthy people thanks to its serene surroundings and friendly community. On a two and a quarter acre lot, this two-story building is situated. The five bedroom and suite flats are a magnificent home with a lot of space. There are two gorgeous kitchens with additional kitchenettes, a TV room, a study room, a storage room, and many other rooms. It contains a two-door garage in addition to the boys' quarters with two bedrooms. A magnificent garden with sprinklers, a post-electric fence, a remote-controlled main gate, and an in-suite security system. Ibrahim Mahama is the owner of Engineers and Planners, a company with expertise in mining, building, civil engineering, and heavy equipment rental, according to a ranking of the 10 richest people in Ghana, both men and women. The well-known businessman has made investments in numerous economic sectors, which has enabled him to make sizable sums of money. So there you have it. Some of the billionaires in Ghana. As a country with abundant resources, they can definitely produce wealthy persons. Are you familiar with any of them? Let us know in the comment section and thank you for watching another Luxury Wire video. We'll see you next time.